Okay. I want to show you how to paint plastic. All right. Just like anything I show you of painting, it's always important for the preparation. That is the most important part of any painting job. Then you pick your products of paint that you're going to use and you pick the best for whatever that is you're going to paint, whether it's wood, metal, or plastic. Okay? So I'm going to show you different plastics. This is a bucket, okay? Uh, it's like a polyethylene product. This is the most difficult to paint. Then you have like a lattice, which is like a PVC. And then you may have light switches that are actually a plastic, okay? I'm not 100% certain exactly what they're made of, but I'm gonna show you these different products and how you should clean them to prepare what you're going to do. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> first of all, you can use steel wool. I like it for different products because like a product like the bucket, you have a lot of different areas and concaves and stuff like that and the steel wool can get in there now for these other flatter projects for these other flatter pieces like a switch plate okay you can use like a wet sandpaper this happens to be 600 grit and you prep them Okay, sand it, get your edges. Okay, your inside edges, don't forget them because that's what's going to be exposed. Some people like to have their plates to match their wall. And that's fine. As long as you prep them properly. Okay, so for this one, we've done that. Now, your lattice is already pretty rough. So what you're trying to do is clean off the surface. Okay, you get that surface nice and clean. With this sandpaper. a lot of different plastic like you have lawn chairs that are plastic you can buy them very inexpensively but you may not like the color that you bought or you want a custom color and then you make that color and, and then you uh, do this same process so any plastic okay whether it's PVC I'm uncertain what this is and uh, the polyethylene now again like I told you this is the most difficult one to paint all right so now you're going to uh, scuff them up. Okay, I'm gonna do the, the finish up the bucket. And then I'm going to show you the next process. <clears throat> okay, well once you've sanded everything or used the steel wool, then you need to use the denatured alcohol. This one, I just did the half part of it so that I could just show you. Now it's painted. Okay, now with your buckets, you can take the handle out, you pull it towards you, take your pliers, and you turn it, it comes right out. The other one just comes right out. 
This way when you paint it, you don't get paint on the handle. It's up to you. The denatured alcohol gets any grease or anything that's left on it off and all the dust off. I did this whole bucket with the steel wool. I did the top and about an inch inside because that's where it would peel more than likely if there was a situation. Okay. Now that you've cleaned everything with the denatured alcohol, now the paint I'm using is a Krylon. It works on plastic, but the most important part is that it has a primer in it. If you don't have a paint with a primer, then you're going to want to use a primer first, then use whatever paint you want to. Okay? But this Krylon works on plastic, plus has a primer already built in, okay? I think it works very well. So the first thing you do is do a light coat. Let that dry. a light coat Okay, let that dry a little bit. Okay, now do your second coat. Okay, now look at that on your PVC. Remember now, you can use any color any color you want, okay? As long as you use a primer or a paint with primer in it, all right?
Don't get too close. Okay. Well, I think that looks pretty good. If you want to put a third coat on, you can. Let me show you. I did the outlet switch. Switch plate. Outlet switch plate. Came out good. Now, I have these little plastic containers. Have cat treats. Well, this one, they used to be paper, but now they're vinyl. So, I did the same process with this, with the sandpaper, denatured alcohol, and then I painted it two coats. Look how well that came out. You know, you could do a little planter in there, do a little whatever. But remember, I'm just using this uh, yellow because I think I'm going to put my lemon tree in there, okay, with the self-watering buckets that I've been making. All right? Well, I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Building with Papa. Painting plastic. Remember, it's always in the preparation, okay? Make sure that you prep your product properly and then you will be able to coat it with your paint properly and you're not going to have to worry about it peeling. All right, see you on the next one.